Let's talk GoPro versus Canon M50 from a solo traveler's perspective. I travel alone and have used both cameras. Which one is best for you to get? Well, in this video, you are going to find out. I will talk about GoPro 6, 7 and 8 because I've used all those three. And of course, the Canon M50. When I talk about GoPro, it's not that I don't like GoPro, but GoPro has got a few issues. Let me address them right now. First issue, reliability. If you are traveling alone, you cannot really rely on the GoPro. Second, freezing issues. You know when you are taking your video, GoPro has got a tendency of just freezing up on you and just dying like that. So you will take that footage back home or wherever you stay in and when you try to play back on your computer or your app, the sound comes out but the image is static. It's like a photo and there's nothing you can do. Third, overheating issues. GoPro has got serious problem with overheating. If you use your GoPro for long periods of time, it tends to overheat and once it overheats, the pictures start jumping like <laughs> <laughs> so watch out for that. If you touch it and it feels a bit hot, I will say just turn it off. It's as simple as that. Fourth, color issues. GoPro has got a tendency of just changing color. Sometimes I look brown, sometimes I look purple. You could look purple, you could look orange, you could look yellow. <laughs> so it will give you all that. So you cannot really rely on the GoPro colors. Five, low light issues. When using your GoPro, in the evening or at night, the light is not good at all. It's good using it during the day, but at night, forget about it, unless you've got lights to help you and the lights must be good enough. But when you're traveling solo, it's not that easy. Or let's say you're inside a house with house lighting, still doesn't work. Number six is not really an issue. This is something um, which GoPro has failed to catch up with the entire world that's moving forward. They are still stuck in the past decade, front screen. GoPro doesn't have a front screen, cannot really see yourself, cannot put yourself in the middle of your shots. More especially when you're vlogging. You see when I vlog, I like this. I'm using the Canon M50, I'm looking at the screen right now, which is on my far right. My screen is right there. DJI Osmo Action only came out, I think, last year, and they came out with a screen. GoPro released GoPro 8 without a screen. They say, well, you have to buy the mods. It costs extra money to do that and the gopro it's already between four to five hundred dollars so it's like they cannot stop milking the same cow that's unfair gopro now let me talk to you about gopro 5 6 and 7. when you are using external microphone it becomes a nightmare because you have to buy mic adapter that costs 50 dollars just to plug the microphone which i think it's ridiculous let's say a gopro cost you 450 dollars the mic adapter 50 dollars then you have to buy a mic i strongly recommend a uh, rode video macro it costs about 60 dollars Without the mic adapter, you cannot use the external microphone. Why couldn't GoPro just make it easy for you to plug your external microphone into the GoPro just like any other cameras? Greed, selfishness, because they want more of your money. When they brought out the GoPro 8, they say now you need the mod. The mod is one of the accessories and that's where you have to plug your external microphone. And the mod is no longer $50. This is more expensive, almost $80. You get your mod and you can put your external mic. And they try to justify themselves by saying the reason why you have to get a mod is that it comes with a shotgun microphone. There's no shotgun microphone. This thing is not a shotgun microphone. I've used it. A friend of mine had one. It's terrible. The sound is not good enough. It's not a shotgun microphone. Those are some of the issues. I made a video a long time ago about a GoPro 8 when it came out because I had major issues. I lost footage and I really, really hated it because I was frustrated. I was at the top of a mountain. I made so many wonderful footages and boom, it just died. But oh my God, not again. This was GoPro 8. I only have GoPro 7. I don't use that much anymore because it's unreliable. And more especially when I'm traveling because I love exploring. I love going to these deep places that people normally don't uh, go and explore. When you go into those places, like some dangerous caves that I've been to, some abandoned old houses, historical houses, 
When you go to those places, you have one chance. You go there once and then you get out. If you don't cut the shot, then you're done. Because if you go again for the second time, you might get injured. It's not really worth going back in there a few times. Or you could get injured or you could simply die. The stabilizer on the GoPro is absolutely brilliant. But are you willing to spend that much money just for the stabilizer when you can just buy yourself a Canon M50 or even DJI Action, Osmo Action, or Canon G7 Mark II, or even Mark III, and use those. I have a few external microphones that I use. I use the JMK, which I will write down here. It's a Lavalier lapel microphone. And I have the Rode Video Micro. It's a shotgun mic, so you can see all those. I also have the mic that I used the very first time called the Boya M1. It's absolutely brilliant, but it uses a battery. You have to keep watching the battery because there's no levels to warn you if the battery is about to die or is dead. So that was me talking about GoPro. Now let's compare with the Canon M50, the camera which I'm using right now and looking at the screen. The nicest thing with the Canon, it comes with its own articulated screen. So you can twist the screen like this, like that. You can turn around and see yourself. That's one thing I like about the Canon. And it comes with a kit lens. The kit lens 15 to 45 millimeters. It's good enough. It, it can zoom wide enough. When you are using a GoPro, you cannot zoom and record at the same time. It doesn't work like that. You have to stop recording and then zoom. And the other thing, GoPro 8 was a really let down because you cannot remove the lens. If you drop it and the lens breaks, you have to buy another one. Not everybody has between 400 and 500 dollars just lying somewhere. If you want to improve your Canon M50, then you can buy another lens like the Canon EF-M 11 to 22 mil. That one gives you a much wider angle. Let me move here, it's too noisy. Wow, it was way too noisy over there, so I moved over here. But here, if you make a mistake, it's a long way down. <laughs> the kit lens has got a built-in stabilizer. Canon itself has got its own digital stabilizer built-in. And you can zoom with this kit lens, and it gives you a wide angle. Not as wide as a GoPro. If you want something wider, then you have to consider buying yourself the Canon 11 to 22 millimeters lens, which cost around $300. And brilliant uh, blurry background, but I prefer the Sigma 16 millimeters lens, because that one, it's a brilliant lens. It, it gives you a much better blurry background. The other lens is a very small lens, which is absolutely brilliant for photographs, but it's a focal lens and it's the 22 mil. It's the cheapest one of them all. It doesn't have a zoom and it doesn't have a built-in stabilizer, but it gives you the best blurry background and it's brilliant to use it inside a building or in places that are much darker. Now that I've um, mentioned these two cameras, which one will I go for? I already have the GoPro 7. Canon, it's not waterproof. GoPro, it's waterproof. So you can get a camera that's waterproof, that's likely to freeze when you take images, or you can get the DJ action. It's waterproof. I love using the Canon due to its reliability. Canon, it's reliable. I can work with it. A GoPro, it's not a camera that you just buy from the store and start vlogging. When you vlog, you must have a better microphone. The built-in microphone and the GoPro is very bad. It's not good. From 5, GoPro 5, GoPro 6, GoPro 7, GoPro 8, they're all rubbish. It's better if you buy yourself an external microphone. GoPro needs an adapter to plug in external microphone, Canon M50 does not. GoPro is terrible under low light conditions, like in the evening in your house, Canon M50 does not. Canon M50, you can um, use it straight from the box with your external microphone. GoPro, you cannot. Canon has got 
a built-in digital stabilizer. The lens have stabilizer as well, so you can turn the two stabilizers on to stabilize your footage. GoPro has that as well. GoPro is waterproof. Canon M50 is not waterproof. Canon will let you zoom the pictures and videos. GoPro, you cannot zoom and record at the same time. Canon, you can uh, play around with the lens. You can buy extra lens and keep changing them for better quality image or better quality video. GoPro, you cannot. So now you can decide which one you like. On this camera, I am using the Dolby Gorilla Pod. Because I travel alone, I can just uh, uh, hook my gorilla pod onto a tree and walk towards my camera that's why i like this gorilla pod if you don't want your image or videos cropped up when you are using digital stabilizer guess what you can do you can simply buy yourself a stabilizer the gn crane m2 it costs less than 200 dollars every equipment used in the making of this video is available in the links below the description of this video if you click those links to purchase any of the equipment, I will get a little commission. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notifications button so you never miss any of my videos. And please share, share, share. Have a lovely day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. <laughs>